Oh, well, I mean, I'm 86 and I am a student, loving every minute of it. You're never too old to learn, and don't let anybody tell you that you are. They say age is no barrier. Liz Kirkby is living proof. At 93, she did what most her age and many half her age couldn't, a PhD. I had time at last to do something that had been part of an ambition when I was a teenager. She's Australia's oldest PhD graduate. Her 100,000 word thesis was on the links between the Great Depression and the global financial crisis, both of which she lived through. She had the same levels of energy as my other students, if not more. Her professor at the University of Sydney was Greg Patmore. I sort of assumed that, given her age, that she might be a bit slow going up the stairs of the Institute building, but she actually rushed up ahead of me, so I, I realised I was dealing with a very energetic person. A mother of three, a grandmother of two and a great-grandmother, Liz has always worked. Her career included stints as a farmer, a politician and an actress in the controversial 1970s television series Number 96. Here. Hang on a minute. Look, you can't get undressed in here, you know. I was told that as a married woman, I was very lucky to be working, you know. And it was, it was regarded uh, as wrong. If you were a married woman, your place was back at home in the kitchen um, cooking the lamingtons. It took Liz just over three years to complete her PhD and she says she's not done yet. I'm hoping to have another holiday overseas. I'm hoping to go to Iran with a Renaissance tour from through the art gallery of New South Wales. At the University of Notre Dame in Perth, Patricia Knox stands out in a room of faces fresh out of their teens. Well, I think they all, my friends thought I was mad. You know, I mean, what are you doing? What are you doing this for, you know? I didn't say because I get bored playing bridge, you know, I couldn't play bridge every day of the week. Thank you very much. So at 86, she's thrown herself into a master's degree in philosophy and has no trouble keeping up with students a quarter her age. Yeah, philosophy slows our thinking down, so in some sense, being older uh, it helps to do philosophy. Notre Dame University's Dr Philip Matthews. She's not just a passenger in our philosophy program, she makes a wonderful contribution. A former teacher and avid reader, Patricia has always had a love of learning. The love of learning came from my aunt, Alice, who was 11 years older than me in this family that I was reared in. And she used to read to me every night. Red Riding Hood was a lovely big book, you know, with pictures. For both women, keeping an active mind is what they say is the secret to living longer. It's better to be doing something uh, it, could, it doesn't necessarily have to be an academic degree, but just to keep interested in things so that you don't develop a feeling of being useless. <laughs>